Zoom and Pan Effect is, one of Ken Burns' effects. Ken Burns is an American documentarian. He applied the pan and zoom effect, to 3,000 still images. Let us load an image, to the sequencer. Extend the image to frame 500. The image will be duplicated, to make two type of zoom and pan effects. The current frame is 500. Move the current frame to 501. Move the second image, to the frame of 501. Change the end frame number to 1000. Move the current frame to 100. Select the first image. Add a transform on the first image. Select the transform. Click Uniform Scale. Add a keyframe on the scale. Add a keyframe on the position X, position Y. Move the current frame to 300. Change the scale to 2. Add a keyframe on the scale. Move the current frame to 500. Select the transform. Keep on changing position X to minus 48. Add a keyframe on position X. Let us work on the second image, which will be applied the second type, of zoom and pan effect. Select the second image. Add a transform on the second image. Select the second transform. Move the current frame to 600. Click Uniform Scale. Add three keyframes on position X, Y, and Scale. Move the current frame to 1000. Select the second transform. Change the scale to 2. Keep on changing position X to minus 49. Add two keyframes on position X and scale. Move the current frame to 1. Play. Zoom and pan effect is very useful when you only have one image and want to tell a story. For the first type, Firstly zooming, and then panning. Zoom and pan effect is an effective technique, to draw audience attention. For the second type, zooming and panning, are applied at the same. Zoom and pan effect is also, a good transition method. When applying zoom and pan effect, the zooming and panning speed is very important. If it is too slow, the audience feel boring. If it is too fast, the audience feel dizzy. If the space is not enough, we need insert 40 to 60 frames. For example, a zoom and pan effect will be applied, near to the current frame, to achieve the target. Firstly, select display waveform. Select a position as very close to, the target position without sounds. Cut the movie into two parts. 
Also cut the audio into two parts. Move the second parts of movie and audio to an appropriate position. Extend the first part of movie. Add a transition to the first part of movie. Then the zoom and pan effect can be added on the extended frames. Thanks for taking time to watch this topic. If you do like my channel, X Science, please subscribe, comment, and share the videos to your friends. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.